Hi friends, it's Miss Ginger. Today we're gonna talk about India. We're gonna learn about some really interesting facts about it. And we're gonna start off with their flag. So this is their flag and there are three colors, saffron, which means courage and sacrifice, white, which represents truth, peace and purity, and green that represents prosperity. Now in the middle, this is called the Dharma Chakra, and this represents the progress of the nation and the importance of justice in life. They also call it the wheel of law. Next, we're gonna talk about their national animal, which is the Bengal tiger. Look at those stripes. That looks like an awesome creature. Do you know what sound the tiger makes? It goes rawr. Can you make that sound? Rawr. Good job. Now, we're also going to talk about their national flower. And it is actually the lotus. Look how pretty it is. So the lotus comes in different colors. But let's talk about what it represents. It represents long life, honor, and good fortune. It actually grows in mud and you can get different colors from it. It can be blue to purple to pink. So right now you can see that's the purple lotus. Look at it this way or this way. <laughs> Look at that, how pretty. This is the blue. And this is the pink lotus. That is so pretty. Now, do you know what kind of costumes they wear? Let me show you. It's so beautiful. The women in India wear saris. And the men in India wear dhotis. Both are long pieces of cloth draped around the body in a certain way. And look how beautiful that, uh, that looks and all the colors that they have. Okay. Some other fun facts about India. So, people in India greet each other by saying Namaste. And it says, so you can you say Namaste? And it means, I bow my head to you. So, here in America, we say hello. In India, the way they say hello is they say Namaste. And then cows are considered sacred in India and they must not be harmed. So, the cows are allowed to walk and roam around anywhere they want. They can even walk through the streets and through the, city, the cities. Um, India is also the only country in the world where both lions and tigers live together. Isn't that amazing? So thank you for joining me and I hope you learned a thing or two about India. Bye friends!